Hello everyone, just wanted to make a quick video to show a new feature for Level Design Toolkit. And it's a way to rename assets from the content browser. So if I just right click this rename assets, add to it to you and run it. And we'll come back to the starter content and static mesh. You'll see that these assets here don't have the sm underscore prefix, whereas some of the others do. So if I just come here and type in sm underscore, and now with these assets selected, click load. You'll see that this, the before prefix has been uh, filled with sm underscore and then we've got the current name for all these uh, floors and then what you can do is click rename and that will go through and it will rename all these assets to have the sm underscore prefix but there's one other thing we can do and that's uh, we can alter uh, the names for individual ones so as you can see I typed in sm uh, underscore for the master option but we can come in now to say the floor and do sm ldtk and then we can even get rid of the underscore 400 by 400 for the floor and now this will be the new name now let's we'll click rename again even though we have only changed the ones for the floor um, it won't affect the other options that were already selected so you'll see that these other assets will still just be sm underscore but the floor option will be sm ldtk underscore floor and this also works with materials so if we just come to material for con start content we'll just grab the brick option um, and then we can do brick underscore and then load you'll see now it's got brick underscore and then under and then m and then the name of the actor itself uh, the material itself there so do rename you'll see it'll do it for the bricks so it's important to note that this will work with other actors that aren't just static meshes or materials you could do audio for example and then load that in and we'll be able to change the names of them here and rename but yeah, that's it for this video and thank you for watching.